let's see if this is going to to start I'm getting some problems uh, my computer is, is crashing when I launch the game so maybe I have to to rejoin one or two times I don't know and then join so I will tell you as soon as possible this is launching please cross finger don't crash don't crash and it's crashing you see I don't know what to <laughs> you can tell the civilizations oh. and anything and it's like a radio but I have to rejoin the room and and I don't know yes. what, why this is happening man I will have to reinstall I don't know but it's happening it's with, crazy. with Windows 10 just when when I when it's launching the game you know and no that's quite weird it's, it's uh, weird man oh well, you haven't missed much so far yeah well it's still it, it crashed again let me oy, hopefully oy. it's going to to join in the with the third time please please join don't crash again it's so annoying man because i put so much effort in this this is stuff and this random crash is it made me go cuckoo because i don't know how to fix it and it's still crashing man uh, what the hell let me change some direct x disable yeah, let's. Of course, the start is, but we can miss some uh, some lemon or something. I'm rejoining. Let's see if I'm getting. Hello, Mr. Oh, Dale. It's paused in a way, so you're not missing anything. Oh man, but I cannot join, man. It's it's not starting. Uh, I hate this, man. I I really hate this. It's unbelievable. I will rejoin the tournament lobby to see if if that fix. Okay, and the pizza is now coming. Oh my god. One second, guys. I wonder if I could hijack the stream now that Mab is gone and uh, talk about anything and he wouldn't have a clue. Oh, he's coming back. Oi, oi, oi. This is great, it's Payton, because when I went away for, to take the pizza and I launched it automatically, it started. So I am in the game live, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's a sign. Every time you launch a game, you have to leave the computer for a while. Oh man! So I will I will go fast and unpredictable. Anyway, with the civilizations: Saracens, China, from Nick and Mentalist, Vikings, Japanese. Well, when people see those, these kind of civilizations, they think really, really too much in in long term, like in 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 the long game. And probably Saracens and Chinese are better, but in early game, Vikings and Japanese. I don't know what you think. They are dangerous, right? Yeah, uh, give me a second. I need to rejoin as well. I was uh, lacking behind for some reason. I was like five minutes behind. Okay, because uh, of, because of the crazy pauses, probably. Uh, probably. But is it only when you spectate it crashes, or what? I don't know. I'm I'm fine right now, but I think they did so much pauses, or I mean, I am uh, in, in four minute in four minutes and eight seconds. I am right now. Okay. Well, I'm at five minutes. You are in five minutes now. Yeah. What the hell? Well, I will I will go fast forward then. Yeah, it's I crazy. think there is some some problems. I am in four thirty one, thirty two. Yeah. Well, because of all the pauses in the beginning, I think I I ended up being like four minutes behind as well because there's so many pauses and shit. So. Yeah. Well, let's see if if he's catching up. Well, we can talk about the civilizations when. Uh, with these series, it's quite tricky. I mean, all of them are pretty good. I mean, Saracens are not something to share for but their team bonus is really good in this matchup uh, with the archers versus buildings bonus so there's probably gonna be a lot of archers it might be that mentalists will end up going knights at some point to have a better combination yeah well about the matchups we see some matchup that in my opinion uh, i think is better for for mentalist and nick because i think it's better that mentalist is facing the viper what do you think Probably yes, because I mean Nick can sometimes lack in the micro and things like that. But like his, in, I mean his uh, his gameplay and stra strategical choices and so on are on point. So there's nothing worried there. But if he's facing someone who micros a lot, 
and stuff, it can become tough. Yeah. Kind of same for me as well. I don't like to micro crossbows a lot. But... Yeah, well, I think he's he has he's better macro player. We could say. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and if he face someone like KBL, that is. It's unpredictable because he can play. I don't know. I I, I would. I don't know how to call NBL style. To to be honest, because <laughs> no, for me, it, it's not. A, it's not bad. I mean, he can um, he can play crazy strong and sometimes make some weird games. Do you know what I mean? And uh, no, no, he plays really weird sometimes and just do stupid yeah. stuff. He can play super strong and sometimes he maybe focusing too much, maybe in the laming and so on. So it's it's really unpredictable. And of course, I would lo love to see. Mentalist with his crazy aggressive play against the Piper, but against the Piper that aggressive play is tricky, right? Let's see. Well, he's gonna do it, man. Look at Mentalist. Well, 23 population up, like like the Piper with Chinese, Barak. Well, we didn't mention about the maps. What do you think about the maps? I see Mentalist uh, nice wood at the back, but look at the open map, man, in front. Uh, so open, I think man. it's. Well, Mentalist can go for like house wall slash building, I mean building wall to the left and you can shield off his gold. Yeah. You know where the sheep are yeah. from those houses to the wood. Yeah, but those are, those are a lot of buildings. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, I mean, then he's not going to get housed for a while at least. Oh, oh but let's focus now because we, we are on Nick and NBL. Oh. You can see the There's fight with the trash, so let's see the micro. Micro there. Uh, Getting the heal advantage, but th it's gonna be similar for both, I think. Yeah. I wonder kill, if Nick is going to. Ay, ay, ay. Nah, it's, it's pretty close, but he's sending the, the scout back. It's really important to gather information, don't lose the scout, and yeah, both with the scout alive. Even with some little advantage for for Nick. Well, Viper, up, and he's going what? Men at arms? Yes, and Bell is going for something aggressive. Yeah, he's also going Man at Arms because he's fast up and he has two Lumber Camps already. Um, whereas Nick is just a Drush of C. Uh, where Nick is walling on the right side now, he probably won't get that in time. So, uh, actually, he might because Bell is not sending his moves. In what forward. minute are you? Because that's important. I am in 11 minutes. Uh, 11.30. Yeah, 11.40. Let, let, let me. Let me put fast forward it's just some problem with the host this happened when they uh, they pause a lot uh, I, mean, I, I can I yeah. can pause at 12 minutes let me know when you're at 12 minutes okay and pause. yeah well I'm I'm watching now that that palisade walls I was wondering oh my English is so terrible because I don't have, or I understand that Spaden said that he's walling on the right side but I don't see the walls <laughs> but yeah I was, Which, I was what time are you at now? let's go 12 okay no, but 12. Just, just put, just put uh, 50%. Be sure, be sure that you are in 50%. Anyway, yeah. he's walling completely on the right side and he's got a wall. But these walls are really tricky because really, Pali side like this, if MBL is coming aggressive, pretty easy to to, to kill those little Pali side. Yeah, especially with Japanese men at arms. He's, uh, he's not upgrading men at arms yet. I don't know what his plan is. Well, I'm going to MBL point of view and uh, he has. Well, no resources. He's going for a few, though. Um, uh, Nick had a gap in his wall. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Well, but he's losing those militias. Now, Piper is there with men at arms as well. But Mentalist is here with the four scouts. And what he's going to do now. Ay, ay, ay. Well, he's palisading the gold miners. Those men at arms are so dangerous. But why? Why MBL is not doing the men at arms? I don't know, maybe, probably he didn't think he would get in, so he thought the Manitar Mercury would just be useless and Nick would have archers when he would start doing damage, but in this case it would have been worth it, but he didn't expect Nick to have a gap in his wall, I guess. Ah, yeah, yeah, like you say, look at, look at that, those two houses, how that happens sometimes, I don't like that tower from Nick. I don't like mm. that tower, too defensive in my opinion, because if NBL keep coming with archers with, from that gap, he is still going to take the gold, probably. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit too defensive. Yeah, th this is not gonna end well for Nick. I think he's gonna bite the dust here. Let's see. Is he gonna be able to fast castle? He doesn't even have gold to go up. He's gonna have to make skirms. 
Did he upgrade double I, bit there? I see, I see this so many times. It's not a bit stubborn for the players, not only Nick in this situation, in general, that when you see this kind of situation that you're getting really rushed, try to forget, it's not better forget that they cast the castellates and try to, to go army. You still will get probably castellate faster than your opponent if you do the army, because you, you will have a lot of food, and like he has right now. Yeah, Nick should commit to Feudal right now. He should upgrade double bit tax, he should get a um, horse collar and stuff, and just delay his castlet for a few minutes, but at least he won't die. And now, and now reward, reward that palisade in the houses. I think he didn't even notice that he's open in, in those two houses, because he's open Nothing. in those two houses. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. he mustn't notice, because the militias just came out of nowhere, so. Yeah, well, I was about to say, Saracens, I think, is a must to make the market because you can really balance your economy and he's doing the market. Well, good job. Well, he's still going to go up yeah, he's to the Castle Age, so, and more or less fine. Yeah. Of course, delayed, delayed, but let's see. Yeah, the thing, and Bale's map is really bad as well, so that might, like, in the long run, his oh, map is going to be so bad. The way to Castle Age. Piper good resources, mentalist resources, ay ay ay, you need a market mentalist, Liam, because he has 700 wood, 232 food and no gold, and oh my god, man, you see, professional caster, terrible player, but he's doing exactly now the market, <laughs> well, it was expected, he has a lot of wood, man, I mean, you, you, he need to sell, to sell that, that wood, and uh, balance the economy a bit, but MBL, look at MBL resources, man, Oh, come on, but he... Make the walls now, Nick! Make the oh, walls! Yeah, yeah. Make the walls, those archers! Ay, ay, ay. Well, he has skirmishers, but... But he could be completely fine and just focus in the castle age. Make the walls, man! Yeah, I don't understand why he's not making that palisade. That Just one palisade. palisade. And that's it! Just <laughs> one palisade and he will delay MBL for like... One minute, so well, not one minute, but yeah, like but, half a minute walking around the forest. But really, oh. MBL is years ago to go up to Castle Age. So if yeah, Nick that... is, is Palisade in there, he's in a really good position against, against MBL. Come on, man. Yes. Piper is MBL. not going to Castle Age. That's a problem for Mentalist and Nick. But Mentalist, now nah, Mentalist will go up, man. In, in 30 seconds, he's doing the Blasmith and he just needs to buy the food and go up, man. Yeah, he's up, man. He's up to Castle Age. So, really, if they play strong together, uh, NBL has good population, but he's the only one. Look his resources, man. He's not going to go up. His economy is not really good. He's doing a third archery range. A third archery... What the hell, man? Well... Maybe... What, what you will do now from Nick? Siege maybe a Mox? Or just try mm. to, to get some economy? No, I need to check this. Uh, Nick. Uh, he has... He's adding... Oh, wait, am I ahead of you now again? Because he's adding PCs. Oh, but... Uh, yeah, I would... I don't know, in this situation, since both are making crossbows from the enemy team, I would probably... Go Siege? Could, yeah, he could add a Siege workshop. But it, uh, and it could be effective even going going aggressive with, with it, not only defensive. It might, uh, well, we we have the same question always, Spaden, and they don't see what we do. We see now all visible, and they don't know how far behind is MBL right now. Yeah, he could like he did, he doesn't know that MBL MBL could be just really close to Castle. He doesn't know that. Yeah, it's uh, as a part of the game to read your enemy. It can be difficult from time to time. So, what's going on the other side now? Place come for knights. Well, uh, the, the problem for for mentalists is that the viper is going with a lot of crossbows, a lot of crossbows. Plus two. Look at the amount of crossbows. And mentalist is the one who is doing a siege workshop. It's needed, man. It's needed. Well, with some knights and the siege workshop might be okay. But now Nick is trying to double. Oh, oh, oh! He's going to go to the gold miners. Oh, that can yeah, be that, nice, that's gonna do a lot of damage. That can be a lot of damage. He's sending one knight, but that knight is without a single upgrade. Let's see, the crossbow's plus two. Come on, kill the spears. And he's there in the gold miners. He can do a lot of damage, like you say, because now the Piper shouldn't attack mentalist. There you yeah, go, he's, he's moving. He's gonna run all hills. 
Yeah, well, but I have time. And one pillar down. There you go. Oh, he didn't kill it. What the hell? No more crossbows. Piper is still going with the archers, but uh, Mentalis is well defended. He has the siege, Mangonel, knights. And next base is also safe from it. Uh, if Viper will go to next base instead. Yeah. So with two towers, right? To I'm checking yeah. two and towers. And TC on the wood. TC on the wood. Two town centers. He he would be ahead in economy with with MBL because he has. Tuto Center working for a long time ago. We see that the village is similar for now, but Nick is now the one with, in quotes I put, better economy, at least according to the village number, 47. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> People love my accent. Well, I'm a Spanish, guys. I'm a Spanish, but some people don't but if you, if you like it welcome to the channel okay well three knights look at this ay 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 they need to go together now or the piper and mbl will kill that army from nick yeah that army is doomed he's bye bye right that army uh, is bye bye uh, kind of served his purpose because he knocked the uh, viper of gold for so long the viper couldn't uh, make more crossbows so now mentalist has a chance to get enough knights to do damage on the crossbows because you need to get a critical mass of knights to be able to counter the crossbows. But why? Why is why is Metalis on on Nick base with the knights? The they... crossbows are there. The crossbows. Sorry, the spade and two villages down. Three. He's open formation. Be careful, Metalis, and repair. Well, he lost two villagers, and now open formation. Repair the mango now. Don't lose the mango. He's repairing the mango now. In the last second, he need to repair that mango because he's a lot of crossbows. Okay. Well, he, he probably thought that those arches was going to the other side, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh, but he has an old heart. Oh, he overchopped. Look at that mangonel. I was thinking that he cheated the wood, but no, no, no. He overchopped. Now in the last second. Oh, open. What the hell? You saw how he opened the, the, the arches in the last millisecond. The Viper. Yeah. But those knights are going to do the job, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, those crossbows are dead. Are dead, definitely. Yeah, well, Viper, but Viper with the power of the Vikings, 18 armies, 60 villagers. He's way ahead now to Mentalist. Mentalist, 45 villagers. But, well, Chinese is, is really good with civilization with the economy. Let's see if he can come back a bit because he is behind now. Nick is the one who is ahead with, according to MBL, but Nick need the siege, man. Look at those crossbows now. He's doing the damage now on MBL on Nick. That he has the siege? No. It's three tall centers. University. Yeah, it's ballistic stone. So he could force a fight versus MBL here. And those crossbows are trapped inside. Yeah. I think, um That he that he did he make the, the ballistic as well, Nick? I, I didn't notice. Yeah, yeah, Nick has ballistics. Okay, okay, let's see this fight. Let's see this fight. Let's see the micro here from, from Nick if he's gonna be good. Well he's getting heal advantage MBL. Ay yeah 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 heal advantage, man. But those few skirmishes are doing the job, I guess. Yeah, they're taking some tank damage. Yeah, they're... Well, it's not a terrible fight for Nick. Since he got with the heal advantage, you can see that he killed basically all the archers from MBL. Yep. Yeah, that was a, a good fight. But the problem is now yeah, on, on mental space. Be... Ay, ay, ay. It's gonna be very ugly in about like five minutes when Viper comes to imp. And he has Arbalest and Liam is still on 60 villagers, so... Yeah, it's, it's, gonna it's be looking bad. like this. It's looking like this, actually. Let's go to the Viper point of view, like you said. Well, he's still not going to go up, but he's still... He has 600 food already. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of farms. He's Vikings. He's, he's, 26 farmers, man. 26 farmers. Yeah. 26 farmers when mentally he has 51 villagers, so... <laughs> That's not really good, man. What happened to Mem's microphone quality? Is it's not good the microphone? Do you listen to me good, uh, Spaden? Yeah, I don't hear any difference. Okay. I will put the microphone closer to my mouth. Let's see. If you still... Tell me if you are still listen to... Okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Well, like you were telling me, oh, but he's trying to push, he's trying to put well with the knights, he's doing some damage, he's trying to go aggressive, but the mango is going to be bye-bye. He's trying to go super aggressive, but 
he's losing a lot of units. He's really losing a lot of units. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, like you say, Metalis is really behind in terms of economy. In other yeah, hands, yeah, I mean, he's, he's like 25 L's behind everyone else. Everyone, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be the like that's gonna be the crucial point here that Mentalis will die to Viper. Well, he's still doing a kill. good job, a good job against yeah. MBL. But the problem is that he was ahead to to MBL, but he never attacked him on his base. You know what I mean? I mean, he, he never pushed him. He's defending at home and MBL now recover. He's 10 population ahead, 83 villages, the same amount of villages than Nick. The same with 25 army, 11. So this is not looking good, man, for the Nadia's boys. Okay, well, Piper, it's like you said five minutes ago on the way to Imperial with 96 villages, 32 farmers, 27 Lambias, 20 two gold miners and the thing is that with pikins you will get well he will get crazy resources and he's open formation all the time ay, ay, ay. yeah i don't see any way of them coming back this game yeah did this game uh i don't know if they will keep fighting but with well the score is not super terrible but when they, when he noticed that he's in Imperial and he sees himself with 84 population, well, 70 villagers, let's see, I guess that they will keep fighting. Oh man, yeah, those probably. crossbows, he's killing a lot with those crossbows. Yeah, next crossbows are doing the job as well. People is asking why the Vikings are good. Because people, you guys are used to, to things in Vikings and tell me if I'm wrong or not, in the long term, in, in the really late Imperial, of course in the really late Imperial they are weak, but we are in Arabia, open map, and he's going to be in Imperial like three, four minutes, or probably even, yeah, probably his opponent, mentally in this case, is not going to be in Imperial in this game. So, the Vikings is really strong to, to, to play in open maps, at least, till, till the super late game. Viper lost. Yeah, yeah. Viper lost. Viper has lost a lot. Fifty. He lost. He lost a castle. Where? Where he was trying what? to make a castle. He got a stone to make a castle, and I don't see his stone anymore. I think he was trying there in that push, and he lost a castle. He has a lot of resources. Oh, the castle is still built forward. You can see on the hill in front of Mentalist base. Ah, he didn't lose uh, uh, the stone. People were telling you don't see that he lost the stone. No, he, he just left there the castle, but he's not doing. And now they are trying to push. Well, the best way to go uh, against this situation is what they are doing, man. Because the Vikings are really good to push. But now let's see if he's going to be able to defend. He's going there with the mangon and crossbows and everything. Ay, 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 ay. They're yeah, doing they're a, they're they're doing a, they're doing a good job. They are doing a good job. A good job. They, are, they are getting time to to themselves to reboom, mentalists keep rebooming. Well, well mentalist is still in 300 food, he's quite a bit away from village. Yeah, but, but he has now 31 farmers, so he has good amount of farms now. If he keep uh, the Vikings here, trying to push, that's the way to go. Look at Viper now, he has 97 bellies. The one who has a lot of villages is now MBL, who has 111 between two castles and the power of the Japanese. They are cheap, man. Japanese is, is good civilization to go, but let's see, let's see. Oh, 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 but they are doubling, man. Where is MBL? Why he's not helping Viper? He's coming now. Uh, uh, he was fighting next arm in the middle. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Crossing the... Yeah, he's trying to not lose that. Mental is now 91 villagers. Well, they are taking really, really good time here. Well, MBL is with uh, 36 army. He has a lot of army now. Oh, 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 let's see, let's see. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ah, he's not shooting those crossbows. He's gonna lose everything there. Yeah, and MBL is going for elite samurais, and Nick is basically going for skirms. Oh, he's so doing Arbalest. Not... Arbalest and Pressure. And with the chemistry, probably he's gonna add hand cannoneers. I believe so. Yeah. yeah, but look at his economy, man. You know, Romanian economy, man. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, this is 
Come on. Uh, be, be serious, eh, Spaden? We are casting, we have to be serious. Romanian economy. Ah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, summarize. There is such a good unit. Oh, three mangoes. Sorry that I interrupt you because the badabuns are really important. And if he's doing some bad, and he's doing now some good, he's killing a lot. He's still doing a good job. Mental is there, but but they have no, no army so because well. it's really complicated, man. Against those units, that yeah. to be honest, those units are cheap, man. Man. Mentalist only has hundred gold. He's not gonna be able to click up to. He has to use the market, but he keeps on making knights, and I don't understand why those knights are useless at this point. Mm, is it better to go, for, for example, mangonas and skirmishes, maybe? Cheaper? Uh, so, something like that. I mean, he's, he needs to save his gold. See, now he's make, making like a panic tower that's for gold. Uh, okay, I'm checking now. I am on the right side. Uh, he's coming with the lead samurais. Those samurais are still not with super strong upgrades, only plus one, plus one. So he should try to go back with that castle that he has. A really, really strong castle. Yeah. Nick, so you don't need to. He don't need to go aggressive. He need to gather because the Saracens' strength are Thank in, you for the, in the late Imperial. P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P U S H I N K E P P U S H I N M E M B D. At that point, it's nothing they can do against the Samurais and all the rest. Mentalists are not up to him. Yeah. Well. Uh, let's see, let's see the uh, the achievement and we can analyze a bit more the game. They have now to switch the civilization, I, I believe so. Military, mentalists killed the most in the game. This is weird, you see. He killed the most units in the game, but also lost a lot, 95. The Viper lost the most units, but if we check now the economy, well, MBL got the most food, but uh, the Viper got uh, similar food, a lot, of, uh, a lot of wood and a lot of gold as well. But uh, sometimes the achievements, it doesn't say how the, how the game was going because it's more about the timing, the decision, right? You can check the resource and you say, okay, they got a lot and so on. But uh, if you are getting villages and units, nothing, nothing you can do. Less than three. Well, thank you, Mr. Foggy fan. And you can see the timeline that the Viper was like all the game with a lot of army. And I mean, if they got some good fight there at the end, they were so behind and mentalists, remember, wasn't even close to go up to Imperial. So, 1-0 and go for the next one.